If you don't know how to use Google Maps and Street View, you're missing a bet. Let me show you one use. Supposing I want to see my property and my neighbors next door while I'm out of town or at any time. I type in my property address and up comes uh, in Google Maps, excuse me, you have to get to Google Maps ahead of time. But once you get there, you type in the address and you get a little marker next to the address you put in. If you come over here and drag this little man over to the marker and put his little green circle with the arrow right on the street and then let go, it takes a little while, but very soon you find an actual photograph of your property. Now, if you look down at the bottom, you'll see some of these arrows here. If you click one, there's another one to the left, but it's hidden by the border on the bottom. But if you click one of these arrows, it moves you down the street. And then if you take this north up, a, up a, around the map circle and move it, it swings the entire picture around the circle until you're heading down the street again. Now if you click this, now you can, once you've done the click on the first arrow, you can use the arrow keys on your computer to move down the street. I'm now typing the up arrow and we go down the street, one click. Again, and we go down some more. Again, and we go down some more. This was photographed by a truck with a camera in the top of it that takes a 360 degree picture. Now, if I click the right arrow, it turns the camera around, or at least it, it picks up the image that the camera picked up when it went by this spot. Now I'm clicking the left arrow. When I get down here to the end of the road, I'm going to keep going until I see arrows to the right and left, and then I'm going to go left. And now, when I click the up arrow, it's going to change directions and go down the street some more. So I can look at what my neighbor's houses are like. Or if I own a vacation rental somewhere, I can go to that address, do what I've just showed you, and move up and down the street to look at the other properties nearby mine. It's quite a capability. Here's uh, an example of that. Let's say that I know about a vacation rental in uh, Dewey Beach, Delaware at 12 Rodney Avenue. I found this on the Internet and I want to look at the neighborhood. Well, here we are on Rodney Avenue in Dewey Beach, Delaware, and I'm going to take the little man and drop him right. By the way, you can drop him anywhere on one of these maps where there are blue lines when you hover over him. If there are private roads over here, for example, you can't do that on a private road because Google's Street View truck couldn't drive on that pro private road. But if it's a public street and you drop the little man on the public street, pretty soon 
a picture of that location will show up. There it is. There it is looking north. And if I swing it around, I can look south at the house across the street. Now this one is a little bit, I must have missed where the little man went because if I go here, here, you see that it says I'm at 4 Rodney Avenue. So now if I move left, it just says I'm at Rodney Avenue again. I think this is 12 Rodney Avenue, but I'm not sure. So let's say we want to drive down the street and look at the neighborhood. Okay. We uh, turn... When you swing it to the right, the picture moves to the left. <laughs> so that's all right. Now I'm, I'm heading, whoops, there we are. I'm heading west. And after I click on the first arrow, I can type on my up arrow key on my keyboard on this computer that I'm using. And each time I type, the picture should move down the street. And if I go down the street, uh, we'll say a half a block, and I want to see what the, the neighborhood is like, I can then type on the right arrow key, which will swing the picture clockwise, and I can look at some of the properties near 12 Rodney Avenue. It says that this is 16 Rodney Avenue. Uh, Google Maps doesn't isn't always 100% accurate as to the numbers, but it's in that it's in that vicinity. If I want to keep going around and then go back down the street and see if I can see over the dunes. I get around heading in the right direction, and then I start typing my up arrow again. And if I am patient, We'll see how far Google's truck went. When, uh, when Google decided to uh, stop and turn around, which I think is right here, the, uh, the arrow going forward disappears, and you have only one choice. You can turn around and go the other way. So you can't see the ocean from this particular view because the dunes are too high. But maybe if you drove down or actually what you can do if you want to move quickly somewhere else, you can zoom out of street view here, which puts you back in the uh, in the the satellite view of this area. And then if you zoom out a little bit by clicking the minus down here you can uh, you can go to another street right here drop your little man there and then you can look to the east and maybe, whoops, nope, I'm looking to the west, sorry. Nope, once again, the dunes are too high. But that gives you a pretty good idea of the things you can do with Google's Street View to explore anywhere that that truck with a camera on it has visited in the last two or three years.